rule for n to be normal in G? There's like a couple of them, right? Right here? Yeah, big N equals M, right? Yeah, but like you don't need the big N here if you take an element here. Like, no. But that's, yeah. that's going to be the next one that I write oh, down. Yeah. The next one I'm going to write down is that. Yeah. For all G in G, uh, G capital N, G inverse equals N. Now, like a couple days ago, we talked about this conjugate subgroup, right? So this is like the conjugate subgroup is just equal to the subgroup itself for all G. And then I guess there's one more, which is for all g in g, d n equals n g, right? So all those three are the same, right? So I don't know, you have to like kind of look at your context and see what you want to use. So let's maybe use this second one. I think that's the, our best bet here, right? And now here's the pro tip. Since d6 is generated by s and r, we only have to do this for the generators. Now that's that's like that helps you a lot, right? Because otherwise you would have to do this for every element g in g, but there are 12 elements in the group, right? Since there are 12 elements in the group, that's kind of a lot of work, right? But you only have to do it for the generators because if you do it for the generators it kind of falls apart for all the rest of them. It's it works.